Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, we are gonna start working again on the R32. It's been a couple weeks now since we worked on the car. I've been doing some other things, but I need to really get back to on track on working on this car because Wookie in the Woods is just a few weeks away now. So, first off today, we are going to be installing the HPA rear stress bar. Here are the instructions, here are the parts, and here is the trunk. Let's jump right into it. So to get started on this project, remo remove this uh, trunk cover if you have one, and then these caps pop off on the side. Uh, they are bolted in and held in with this trim piece but I already had it removed other than that there's some screws that go in the back and then this little uh, push through just clips into into this area right here so it's pretty simple to remove make sure you remove that or am I faking on the tip of my tongue there's a sarcasm waiting for you Well guys, I'm in the car now. Uh, I have to install, this is called a, a nut cert. Um, apparently, it's like a pop rivet, I think. You tighten this down and it expands and seals in here. So here's one. I gotta tighten this down here. Uh, I gotta jam a screwdriver in there to stop this from spinning. And then that pinches in there, apparently. Uh, instructions told me to install this thingy, which I just uninstalled because it does not make sense to have it here because then I don't have access. So let's see how this goes. It's a very awkward position in the car. Oh. Cool, never used one of those before. Let's do this side. A few moments later. All right, guys. Now we have these pieces here. These brackets. Let me show you what I'm working with. Here's the bracket. It, uh, it bolts into the bolt that holds the rear seatbelt, and then into that nut set you installed. Then you cut a slit into the sidewall so this sticks out. All right, so that's that. Now let's do the other side. Well, I opened up the garage because I'm getting kind of irritated and sweaty. But you gotta remove all of this subwoofer box CD changer crap in order to pull this back enough so you don't break it so you can remove that bolt so you can put this bracket on. So clearly the instructions only show the easy side, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, let's do this. Get it done. I'm willing to trade my soul for a bit of your charm. There's no way I fade into oblivion. Cause I'll keep shining over you all when you're Well guys, that took entirely too long. I would say this is one of the no most annoying jobs I've done so far. Cause these brackets here. HPA says they're a tight fit. Either I'm impatient or by tight fit they mean they don't fit and I had to uh, drill out the holes bigger to get it to fit. On to the next step. Alrighty guys, so instructions are not that good so I'm gonna try to explain this to you. These are the clips that go in the back there and this is uh, the push clip that clips into the hole we actually just put a, a, a nut in now. So what they want you to do is install this bracket uh, which will slide around that nut you just did to keep it going left and right but in order to do that you got to cut this piece off so I've done it right here um, you cut that clip off and now this sorry is what slides onto the nut there uh, how you measure that is you take your clip and you slide it 
see these like uh, knuckle dents here you slide it over there that's how way you know this uh, piece actually clips into the frame so now it's slid over there you mark where it, it stands on the actual uh, bracket piece here so you know where it needs to be screwed down to and then you actually cut this off flush to this mount here and then you bolt this onto where that mark was so I don't know if that's gonna help you guys but instructions are pretty terrible figured it out Thanks. You guys I had to run to the hardware store get some parts um, basically we were missing some nuts so what I've done is just aligned everything up with the nuts that uh, belong places and I was actually missing two nuts for here and here so I pe uh, picked those up and also I need to there's this adjustable nut here I took this one off I need to install that and then we can finalize assembly there's mud on the floor Desperate people trying to get through the door Although the room's already crowded But I'll keep shining over you all Well there you have it guys, we have our HPA rear stress bar installed on the R32 um, Not the easiest job, not the fun job One thing I'm not sure about is this does move um, but I don't know anyways thanks again for tuning in be sure to leave a like below leave a comment below if you have questions about today's project and then hit that notification bell so you can check out all the newest videos until next time I'll see you then it's